Hey everyone, it's your girl Jossie, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. As you can see in the thumbnail, we're gonna be making some tops with safety pins, just like you see here. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory, so easy. So don't buy one, um, make it yourself. There's easiest cutting up t-shirts and putting safety pins on it, and that's it. But we're gonna take it up a notch today because we're gonna use color. We don't wanna be basic. Yeah, let's try something different. Like. Mm, you ain't seen that before. <laughs> well, you probably have. I don't know. I know you've seen um, people wearing them. Like, I guess they're like a little trend. I'm probably late to this little trend, but I've seen it everywhere. And now let's do it my way. My. Okay. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Twice a week. Yay. So without further ado, let's get safety pinning hey y'all so i got these shirts from walmart for the tank tops they were like 350 each for the regular white shirt i think it was like two something Ew, my hands look ashy but we're gonna take this little sticker off i got them in all smalls and one of them was extra small this one is just gonna be the basic one that you've seen everywhere i'm just gonna cut it um in half as a crop top these are the safety pins i use i also got these from walmart for like almost two dollars um, and they don't have the little spring at the bottom. They're just regular um, safety pins for like crafts and stuff. At least that's what the box is. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut the shirt right down the center on the front and lay the safety pin out just to make sure that I have enough room. I suggest you cut a big enough space for the safety pin so your shirt can still be fitted. And then I'm just laying them all out for spacing really it doesn't really matter because they all look the same so yeah and then just safety pin away it's as simple as that like i said they're like the most easiest no so outfit you could possibly have And then that's how it is and that's period and that's it and let's move on to the next one so this one um i'm thinking of making like a little dress or something so when i put the t-shirt on it was long enough for, to be almost a dress so we're just going to cut it in half again to where i want to stop and then i'm going to cut it down the center just like i did the first one and then i'm going to lay the, my safety pins out the way i want them so we're going to Put safety pins down the center of it and then like to connect the top piece and bottom piece so then it'll like be like a dress you get the point yeah 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 you get the point and then we just gonna move those out the way and then safety pin it down And then when I finish that top part, we're gonna move down to the bottom, starting with the first two safety pins together like that. Um, making sure, just make sure you don't safety pin the front side and the back side. So once you do the front side, you gotta turn it around, do the back side. And you could actually, now that I think about it, you could leave the back side the way it is. It would just have like a more open look on the back, open like whatever, but I did mine all the way around. And I did need a lot of safety pins for all of these. So get a lot if you have a lot. And then just stretch out the, the top and the bottom so the safety pins, um, so there's space between all of them. And I had to fix this one because it was too close to the bottom safety pins and I didn't like that. So that's it for that one. And next, so this blue one, um, we're gonna crop it again. And this time we're gonna safety pin the sides. So we're gonna cut a little bit off the, both of the side seams. And then, yeah, basically just safety pin it. Um, I safety pin it the wrong way. I kinda wanted the top of the safety pins to be towards the front of the shirt. So I just took them out and re-safety pinned it the way I wanted it here i had to i realized that that's not what i wanted and so safety pin it however you want 
however spacing you want it's all the same thing and that's pretty much it so then just um, stretch it out and then i did it wrong again so we're gonna fix that right now so then stretch it out and that's pretty much it you see how easy these are like i'm selling them but like you can make one for real but if you want one of mine my depop is in the description box below and so for this next one we're gonna take a t-shirt that i also got from walmart if i didn't mention that um and cutting off the sleeves and then i'm gonna take another t-shirt that i already had and cut off those sleeves as well this one for, was from another project that's why it's all cut up but i'm just going to safety pin the sleeves and the shirt together it's as simple as that and i had trouble trying to find which way the safe i wanted the safety pins to go but um, it all worked out in the end, I think, kind of. And you can cut the sleeve as long as they're or as short as you want. Like you can crop the shirt or you can add long sleeves or whatever. It's all up to you. These are like fully customizable and you don't even need much but a couple shirts and a couple safety pins. and boom bam bow that's how it looks and i only have one safety pin out of all of the other ones that i had i bought a pack of 40 i bought two packs of 40 and all of those took up all the rest of them so the next one um i wanted to do one that wasn't just shirts so i got this pair of pants from my uh, another video check out the snatched waist men's shirt on my channel um, after this video go check that out because that's where these pants are from but I wanted to try some with pants and see how it works so I cut up the pants were already cut up a little too high but we was gonna make it work and I used the safety pins that I just had around the house so they don't look the same but they all work the same as they're all safety pins and so I just cut off the legs of both of them and these are how they turned out i hope you love them if you haven't subscribed and be sure to subscribe and like this video Remember to comment which one is your favorite and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and goodbye.